beautiful up there, Lake yeah. Champlain and all. Yeah, it's been very nice, but very warm also. And did you do a lot of repairs? Or? Some, yep. Fix some screens, as a matter of fact. <laughs> mm -hmm. Screen test. Yes. Did you fix the garage and everything? Um, no, not exactly. And did you get any rest? Yes. It's been very restorative. It has? Restorative or restorative? No, very good. Either way, I know what you mean. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Relaxing. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah. What, where, what's Jack doing? He is there now, and he's going to stay up there. My brother comes in for a week, and we go to Saratoga to... Oh, yeah, spend all your money. Yes. Yeah. No, I'm not going to give you the money then. <laughs> not until you get back. You spend it all at Saratoga. Uh, if I promise to behave? Yeah, if you promise to... I don't know, maybe I better mail it to you after Saratoga, <laughs> after he goes back. Uh, He's in Minnesota? Yes. Where about? Near Minneapolis. Oh. Like Bear Lake is the name of the town. I was very pleased that... Uh, one of our Fulton family association members. We've had an association for a hundred years, mm -hmm. and uh, the uh, anniver the reunion was in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Mm -hmm. And this Fulton, uh, who's also the editor of the Fulton Bulletin, she I sent her a camcorder, a Sony Sony Mini DV camcorder, and uh, she videotaped St. Croix. Nice. And then she went up somewhere into Stillwater, Minnesota, mm -hmm. and videotaped the Folsom House up there. Mm -hmm. A historic figure. In, uh, mm -hmm. So I was really pleased that uh, there, uh, it isn't as pretty up there, though, as it is oh, here. Yeah. It's, it's so it's rocky. Very green. Yeah. And it's mostly pine trees, isn't it? Uh, I think so. I think that there's a bit of variety towards Wisconsin. It's more well, Wisconsin foresty across. and so on, and then it's flatter in the middle. Oh, yeah. you go to Wisconsin by going across the St. Croix, don't you? Yeah. Well, Do you ever go out there to see him? Yeah, just once or twice, though. It's been years. I forgot what he does. He works for a company that does uh, basically drug testing. It's called MedTop. If employers need to, oh, or just, oh, you know, analyzing blood, this kind of stuff. Oh, of people yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Diagnostics and one thing and another. Is your mother better? She's doing well. She's going to come visit me for a week. Up there? Yeah. Good for her. That would be nice. How will she come? Uh, train. Amtrak goes right to Westport. <laughs> What's that, going to Canada? Uh, yeah, the Montreal train. And it stops right in Grand Central, so pretty convenient. It stops. It starts in Grand Central. Well, it may originate down in Washington or Atlanta or something. No, like you that. know something. I think it. Uh, on the, I think it's on the New Haven line, hmm. and I think it goes to Springfield, Massachusetts, or it used to. No, I think it goes. It shoots right up the Hudson Valley. Goes to stops oh. at Rensselaer. Oh, then it gets Albany, at Albany. Rensselaer. Oh, right. This side of the river, it goes right up. You can oh, see the yeah. tracks by 9J, for instance. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I've taken that train many times to Manhattan. Hmm. And it stops at Westport. Yeah. Wasn't that cute? Yep. Far away. Sleepy little town. It is? Yeah. What's it like? Timeless. It's got a stone <laughs> church, beautiful library, uh -huh. sort of a Victorian, well, not a well, wooden structure, you know, not, not gaudy. Uh, what's nice. the population? Um, well, the year-round residents are few, quite honestly. It's more uh, having to do, I, a lot of the houses are vacation properties, as is mine. As it, as yeah, but yours was a residence year-round. Right, right, and I hope it to be again someday. But <laughs> this man was always talking about his hometown, how they had a fire truck, and they got another fire truck, so they used the first fire truck for false alarms. And he was always saying how we had a post office and a speed trap mm -hmm. and a grocery store. Yep, you got that and too. So somebody said, well, were any big men ever born in your hometown? He says, no, just babies. 
<laughs> How? What do you think the population is? A thousand? Maybe. Oh, under a thousand? <laughs> Uh, about a thousand. Maybe not that many, actually. Well, people yeah. seem to know about it. Yeah. That's a very pretty place. And it's a, uh, it's on the lake, so... It's right on the lake? Yeah. Not my house, but the town is. So there's a marina there. People can bring their boats and get some provisions. Can you see the, the lake from your house? No, but a couple steps out the door you can. You can? Yeah. It must be a beautiful lake. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. And then how far is that from the border? About two hours. Oh, it is? Yeah. New York State is big. It is. You have to pass through Plattsburgh, which is about 60 miles north, and then it's another 40 miles or so north of Plattsburgh. I think it's good you didn't mow the lawn until now. The Milan needed that help. Yeah. You see our tomatoes so over there? we got tomatoes. we got two tomatoes. Wonderful. Yeah. Two more than you would have had. Yes. And I told you that man adopted all my plants, That's right. except those two little ones. And I had that mother plant six years. She never blossomed. He had her one month and she blossomed for him. Huh. Great big red blossom. The nerd. <laughs> <laughs> That's gratitude for you. <laughs> Marjor Marjorie Dugan seems to be doing okay. Yeah. Her yeah, mother. We're going to go have dinner at uh, Devin McConnell's parents' house right now. Who to is? go wash up. And, oh, you're uh, going over to Patrick and yeah, uh, Nancy? Yeah. Yep. Okay, I, uh, in church, Devin's close friend, very close friend, is uh, Alden Race. You probably know him. Hmm. The Race family. Yeah. Well, in church this morning, uh, Devin's father was inquisitioning him as to what he was going to do this afternoon. And... Uh, Alden said he was going to go to Devon's to make a movie. Hmm. And I said to Alden and his father that Devon's camera had broken. It had fallen off of a tripod. Oh, dear. Devon had told me that. So I pulled out of my briefcase my favorite camera, which is the JVC Avario, hmm. and I handed it to Alden. Hmm. So will you please find out what happened? Did they make a movie, and when is my camera coming back? <laughs> I'll... Presumably, I'll see Devin, and that's who I would talk to. Yeah, he's a pretty him. trustworthy guy. Although his own camera seemed to have fallen off a tripod, huh? Too bad he has a Kodak. Hmm. We're discussing. He had a plan. You know, he always has a plan how to increase his income. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he gets 150 a month, so he said that for 200, he could loan me his Kodak camera. This was quite a while ago when it was working, and that. I could shoot anything I wanted all week long, and then when he came for our weekly meeting, I would hand him the SD card. Mm -hmm. From the SD card, he could make all of the dubs for the 87 TV station. He could make all of the uh, shows uploaded to the YouTube. Mm -hmm. He could do all that. Mm -hmm. Well, it was a pretty good thing. I turned it down because it didn't include titles. Mm -hmm the words on the screen telling people what's going on, or my thoughts, or whatever. Mm -hmm. What, it would have been a silent movie? No. Uh, it would still have audio and video, uh -huh. but it wouldn't have the character generator. Uh -huh. Like, uh... Well, so if it didn't do what you wanted it to do, then it wouldn't be worth... Then $50 is not a bargain. <laughs> <laughs> and so then, you know, and then I decided a long time ago, that's how we started. Mm -hmm. We made sort of a oral contract that... Uh, he would do the shows, and then I realized, well, no, Glendora, you, the author of the show, have to do the titles, because Devin doesn't know what you're trying to get across to people. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I turned it down for that reason alone. Uh, but now I've decided that maybe his idea is good, hmm. and that we can, uh, I can tell him exactly what, make a list of what I videotape, and then I will write the title. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's where we stand on that. Mm -hmm. But the problem right now is we'd have to buy his new camera. But he found one for $105. The Avario cost uh, $200. Mm -hmm. Well, $105, that could be his first two months. <laughs> I don't like to see him spend this money. I'll try to do it for him if we decide to do it. Yeah. I'm afraid I'm getting buzzed on my... Did you know I have a cell phone these days? No, as of when? As of about two months ago. 
Patrick, come around back. If you go in the house, please don't let the dog out. Okay. I will simply say, okay. Is it hard to use? No. What kind is it? Uh, an LG. Who is your service? Verizon. Oh, that's an expensive one, Dan. Yeah. Well, my friend Frank actually gave it to me because he and his girls were getting new one, new phones, <laughs> part of their contract, and he didn't have any use for it, so... <laughs> you have to pay for that monthly, huh? Well, he is so kind as to... Carry give you? It to me. Yeah. He carries you? He does. Devin pays $30 a month to his parents, and he has an iPhone. Mm-hmm. And my friend Ju and Devin's iPhone was 200, mm -hmm. and he loves it. And he also has an iPod that was 500. Actually, it was 700 because he got the case and mm -hmm. some auxiliary. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so, uh, my friend Judy got an iPhone, and hers was 300. Mm -hmm. It's amazing what they can do. Yeah, that's the thing is that they're so far beyond my capabilities or my needs that. You know. Yeah, well, I don't be on, I don't think it's beyond your capabilities. I think you'd get used to it within a month. Well, but if my needs are few, but then your I, needs there's no there. I mean, your motivation, needs... there's no incentive to become a master of things that I don't really need or want to do. So. That's right. Yeah. Except that you, if you have another person who has an iPhone, when you talk to them on your iPhone, and if they have the camera, you can see each other. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, this new computer does have a webcam. Good, so you can Skype. Yes. You probably heard that. And that's that. going to be very important because it'll save me going to these places in Connecticut. Good. East Hartford, Manchester. Good. Hartford, West, Jeff, West Hartford. Brave new world. Do you hear, still hear from that congregational church in, uh, in Hebron, is it? Yeah, very nice people out there. They are. Yeah. Hebron, I, the chat with Glendora is on all of Tallinn County. Hebron, Bolton, all those places. Tallinn. Yeah. And they're one of my better TV stations. Good. That don't give me a hard time. What do you got? What's this new assignment you've got at the school? Well, it'll be working in the middle school with a class of nine kids that I'll be, I think I told you this, I'll teach them not only reading and math, but science, social studies. Maybe even some music and art and stuff like that. Well, that's yeah. kind of nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Actually, um, at first it took me aback. I don't adapt necessarily well to change. But no, I don't think any of us do. Yeah. And as we get older... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really feel sorry for you. The adaptive gene becomes less... <laughs> Well, I think flexible. that's wonderful. Those are you enjoy that. Yeah, I think I will. Seeing them learn those things. But now you've got a long commute, huh? Oh, gosh. Ten minutes. Yeah. Say you'll have to leave now at 20 after. <laughs> Even earlier. It's a, it's a middle school schedule, so they start their day at 7.30, not 8.30. Is that so? Oh, it's middle school. I was thinking it was Martin Glenn. Mm -hmm. Oh, middle school is big. Well, well that I'm looking is forward big... to those 7 a.m. mornings in the middle of winter. No. Hmm. What can you do? Well, that's lovely. At what grade level is that? It's a combined class of 5th graders, 6th graders, and 7th graders. I see. Yeah. But they've got some pretty pretty serious learning disabilities, so that's why. What, like what, for instance? They can't read? And speech and language impairment so that they don't process language. You know, it's the really? things that underpin the skills that could be not necessarily Really? Connected. What causes that? Could be prenatal stuff. Oh, know. Oh really? It yeah. is actual. It's an actual damage. Well, yes. You know, it's not an... by, by no means would every child have that as in their background. But if the if the mother smoked, if the mother drank, if there was a head injury early in life. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You know, those kinds of things. Oh how sad! Because yeah. the brain is such a wonderful thing. It's so bad to waste yeah, it. It's so fragile. Right. Well, I do have to run because I'm invited for five, and I think I'd better shower. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you get and that change. message, if you get that message to him, and I, I think if you would ask Devin to call me if you see him, call you tonight. Oh yes, okay. The sooner the better. Okay, I'll ask him to do that, and if you don't hear from him, it's be well. 
I you have deliver the message insofar as I am able to. You didn't have any Lyme disease this year? No, yourself. No. Yeah. It's been great. No. I've seen a couple of them. Um, but I came, the I came outdoors and shook them off. I still hear of a lot of people who get debilitated. No, really? Oh, yeah. It's Truly debilitated? Oh, terrible. Oh, that's awful. Yeah. This summer? Up there, is it bad? No, up there it's not bad at all, as a matter of fact. I think it's above their comfort zone. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, around and about, if not later, okay? What's that for, the rubbish? Or? Well, that'll probably be Tuesday. I'll be here until Tuesday midday. Okay, do we have to do anything tomorrow? No. Um, no, I think we're in good shape. No mowing. I'm going to be at school most of the day. Oh, okay. All righty. Night. Bye-bye. She watched the SS Glendora 50 years ago. <laughs> she and his sister when they were babies. She volunteers five also, days a week. She She's an English teacher. She was a retired English teacher. She was I can't church. help you. Bye-bye now. Thanks, Donna.
My number up here, if you need to reach me, 962-4322. And message deleted. Message six received Saturday at 5, 11 p.m. Six is available. Message deleted. Message seven received Sunday at 7.27 p.m. Hello, this, this is Miss Brooklyn Dora. This is Francis Wooden returning your phone call. New Hampshire. All right, it took me a while to get back to you. Um, it's he been quite crazy around here. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to let you know I got your letter, and I thank you, and I appreciate um, you reimbursing me. Um, much, much appreciated. Um, I hope you saw that in the box I sent you there's an order form to get um, another, uh, another version of the reunion um, on the CD, or, yeah, CD, DVD, whatever it's called. Um, anyway, I'm waiting for mine to come, and I hope it comes soon. So, um, just want to let you know that was an opportunity available to you to also get another copy of the reunion, um, scene. But anyway, I just want to talk to family later. reunion. Thanks. Press four. Message deleted. Message eight received yesterday at one twenty six p.m. Andy hers when it's a It's a breakup. Um, He's glad about magic, Jack. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get a hundred. Here's Press 27. Four for the previous message. Press three. Message deleted. Message nine received at 10:10 10, 10 a.m. Hi, going door, Judy. I got you. Very nice message. Thank you. Thank you for all the thank yous. Um, the 18th. Um, probably I would just love to talk with you for a minute about it because a lot of it has to do with how open the afternoon is. Um, we resolved so it. We We're going together on weekend. July 18th, I mean, right. August 18th. Right. Have a, a chat with Glendora about that. All right, thanks. I'd like to do it if at all possible. All right, bye-bye. Press 4 for the previous message. Press 3 for advanced message delete. delicious this year. Have you had any corn this year, Devin? I haven't, no. Other than what I hand out to you? Well, it is delicious. Devin and I are going over to the museum and we're going to reconstitute columns on the starboard side, columns 1 to 14. That'll be half of them. And then next Tuesday, we're going to do the uh, last half, and we'll be done. And that's the annual checking of the columns and the files. the new showroom folks. Here's a little portable showroom. And this is all closed down and they're waiting for a 
check for five million dollars. And the museum escaped by what? Four or five feet. There's the scorch marks where the fire made from the inside under this tin building. It's the yellow one. Is that right? We arrived at quarter to two. You're beautiful. You're just beautiful at a distance. <laughs> that can just be put on top of somewhere where we need a box. Golden rod, bachelor buttons, Thank you for hanging those up. Devin, let me get your opinion on something. We have to block up this hole. And Andrew Lynn says the way you should block a hole is with plexiglass and caulk. I wouldn't know anything about it. I'm probably better off asking my father. Oh, okay. Would you ask your dad if uh, he thinks it's right Let me to, patch, to patch a hole with plexiglass and caulk? Oh, you're going to have to... Oh, good for you! <laughs> plexiglass. And cock, what do you think, folks? And you are beautiful. Who are you? You're just lovely.
we do, if we have this entire side left and we do half, that's up to column 13 today, and then from there on, the next. Yeah. So, let's move this back. We'll have to file those things later on. Yes, I agree with your plan. You could put the roller under the block and oh, put the right. block under the door and we could have more air and light. Uh, start time is uh, 9 of. Uh, first uh, column took 15 minutes, starting the second column on the starboard. Five columns are done, and it's 3 p.m. And they are very straight. It is now 4.32 p.m. This is the next to the last column. We do column 13, and we're done for today. VHS Archives of 1990. Do you think that box is, needs a stick behind it? Mm. That red box? No, I don't think so. I think it's just a crease in the back. This will probably be straight. There's a thing hanging there. What's hanging? A piece of tape? Mm -hmm. I think it's leaning in. I think you need a piece of wood. I don't think so. I think it's straight. Oh, okay. I think the, I think the top box here is straight and just a thing on the back. If okay. anything, it's just a bumper on the back of this box. Okay. Now, we go to 18-6, McDermott. And oh, this just says column 12, files 2010 May. This is two months ago. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Well, don't you, what do you think that don't you think this These one's These are almost empty. And those aren't files. Hmm. All righty. And I can write on that, right? This one already, yeah, you already labeled this one. Oh good. Files twenty ten. It was before that. Oh. Really? You know, like a month. Oh my goodness, yeah. So Anyway, I'm watering my plants there, so let me... I'll water your plants for you. I'll um, give you water right now. I need uh, a bucket of water, and I'll put the fertilizer in it. Yeah, I'll give you two buckets of water. Oh, thank you for doing that. No, it's right here. Here, I had it right here. Okay. And there's the little tomatoes you oh, gave me. You can eat them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I eat them at five o'clock. That's, that's my first fruit. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. No, they've had those around for. And he, uh, he also does the uh, dubs to the YouTube. Message. Hi, Glendora. It's Margaret. I got your message when I got home from the animal shelter. And I will see you at the Christian Center at noon on August 18th. Thank you. No need for you to call me back. I look forward to it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Perfect. Thank you. Brett Freeford. Message deleted. Last message. <coughs> For the previous message, press message deleted. No more messages. Press goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye.
Are all the wheels going the right direction? What? Are all yeah. H20. You want all them? Yes, please. I don't know if I can read it. Just 75 to 50? You read it better than I can read your money orders. Well, uh, we've told them. I can't tell them anymore. I'm tired of talking to them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Yeah. Where are you, Devin? Devin, other one? Uh, you know, I don't know if you have What'd you say, dear? Just these seven? Yes. 75 to 50? Yes, please. Okay. Hi, where's your basket? Oh, okay. You all signed up for the fall? Uh, I just had to finish going through the financial aid. Oh, yeah. Grand total of 245.20. Okay, if I'm right. 7540, 320, 16, and a 50. Oh, boy. How's your dogs? Good. Dogs are good. They don't like to eat, especially the ones that you're going for. You want what? I want $145.25. 240. Yeah, but you're a good number. <laughs> okay. And then this, and then how much? 45.20. Take the small stuff. 45.20. This is my friend Devin, and this is Annie. Hi, Devin. How are you? Very well. How are you? Patty went off on a cruise. Who? Oh, did you? So Devin is helping me out. Oh, if I went on a cruise, I'd never come back. <laughs> I wouldn't want to get off the boat. <laughs> Ship for every home. Come back to here? No, thank you. Why didn't you go with it? Oh, I don't want to go cruise. I'm happy where I am. Oh, my Bingo, God. bango, bongo. I don't want to leave the Congo. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just Bingo, bango, bongo. I am happy in the jungle. I refuse to go. Then you got to um, then you got to put up all them people on there. 
I just rent the boat or ship the whole of myself, yeah. And your dogs. My dog. Like those people going was well, are going up the Hudson River there on their monthly cruise. They didn't make it too far, did they? You see that on TV? The boat caught on fire? Oh. Yeah. That was a shame. Hi, Paul. Paul, this is Devin. Devin, this is Paul. Hi, how are you? I'm well, how are you? Patty went on a cruise. <laughs> who? Patty, who always brings me. Went on the cruise? Yeah, she went on the <laughs> cruise. Oh. So Devin's helping me. Are these legible? I don't know. You tell me, I, Patty. Yes, you tell me going to the I don't think they've changed much. Okay. Okay. Devin, will you come over here, please? And tell me, see, this is the amount. And then over here in the receipt side, put the amount. Yes, $20, zero cents. Yeah, well, yeah, it'll always be zero cents. Just put the 20 up on the receipt side.